Jesus. Consequently, black men's experiences of racism are framed as one dimensional, narrow and devoid of any analyses that understand the horrors of sexual violence. Such claims, however, severely underestimate the complexity of black male subjugation under racist social systems and within periods of colonization. Mm -hmm. As early as Calvin Harriton's Sex and Racism in America, there has been a realization that racial hatred, uh, racial hatred is carnal hatred, sexualized hatred. A phallicism or a process that criminali criminalizes black males as sexual threats like the rapist while simultaneously constituting them as the carnal excesses and fetishes of the white libido. So you want to you want to break that down? There was some um, there was some big words in there that, that needs yeah. some <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, no worries. So, um, essentially, um, in this particular passage, what 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 Tommy Curry is suggesting is that um, as we get into the nuance of us as uh, out males in this society or man nots, um, the biggest piece or the driving motivation. Um, of this of this particular phenomenon is based off of a carnalization or when we say carnalization or a sexualized hatred it's basically uh you know phallicism or your phallus or your penis or your dick um it's it's a it's a it's a hatred of your reproductive organs because of the actual power that's uh associated with this um, now, a supplementary piece of literature that I would definitely recommend is uh, the ISIS papers by Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, who goes even deeper into uh, the penis envy or, or the phallic hate hatred of uh, the dominant society towards you. Um, and basically, the, 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 the question begs is like, why would they hate my penis? Right. Why would they hate? the fact that uh i can reproduce or that i have a dick or that i'm a male well the thing is as far as the construct of racism in order for racism to uh occur and in order for it to actually function you need two separate classes you need two two separate races quote unquote which we know are a social construct in order for it to be facilitated now how can you how can you contain these races if what's naturally known as admixture occurs um you can't which is why they hate your this is why they hate your sexual this is why the energy is a sexualized hatred towards you is because if you know anything about biology um those in the dominant society they hold a recessive gene and ours we hold a dominant gene so by osmosis of admixture their quote unquote socialized race would be eliminated by way of just nat nat natural mixing and so although you may not have any intention of you know stamping out their 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 particular social class or race this is the inherent fear and this is the inherent hatred that they have towards us as a group is because we have the opportunity to do so um so this is why they place these demonized they they, they mythologize and, and they demonize us in this manner based off of that fear alone it's the it's the all great big black man to take what has been given and, and for depending on the sector that you receive this from um here here goes the big black man to you know take over the white man and and destroy his whole colony and and and, and for for the standing majority of us as far as just being americans half of us don't for the most part don't have these ill-willed malicious intentions in doing so but understanding again why you're in this position and why they basically pressing the issue and they on our neck so much is because that social con that that social construct gets destroyed by uh, just through through natural osmosis of of people blending as a society